You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough. You and the Tooth Fairy. Mommy, Sarah's here. Wee! Look, Caillou, I can go really high. Sarah, look at me. Pass me the shovel, Sarah. Sarah, what are you doing? Look! Why is your tooth all wiggly? My baby teeth are falling out because I'm a big girl now. I'm going to put it under my pillow. Then the Tooth Fairy will come at night and leave me a present. Caillou had never heard of the Tooth Fairy before. It's a magical fairy that comes when you're asleep. She looks under your pillow to see if there's a tooth. And if she finds one, she leaves you presents and sometimes money too. Caillou wished that he had a tooth to leave under his pillow for the Tooth Fairy. Here's your juice, Rosie. Now eat your snack, Caillou. Then we can go outside and play until Mommy and Daddy get home. <laughs> it looks like you just lost a tooth, Caillou. Really? <laughs> I'm missing a tooth, too. This one right here isn't real. It comes out every night. Do you put it under your pillow for the Tooth Fairy? <laughs> Gosh, no. I don't want the Tooth Fairy to take this tooth away. Hi, we're home. Mommy, Daddy, I want to get presents from the Tooth Fairy just like Sarah. You have to wait until you lose one of your teeth before you can get a visit from the Tooth Fairy, sweetie. Can I put Grandpa's tooth under my pillow? <laughs> I'm afraid I need my tooth. And besides, I think the Tooth Fairy would know it was mine. Caillou was discouraged. He really wanted the Tooth Fairy to come and pay him a visit. He thought maybe if he wiggled his teeth enough, they would loosen. Hey, this one's loose. <laughs> Mommy, Daddy, look, my tooth is loose. Oh, it seems just fine to me, Caillou. It's not loose at all. Hi, Caillou. Here, I took your shovel home by mistake. Wow, Sarah, your tooth is gone. Uh-huh. Bye. <sighs> Caillou was upset that the Tooth Fairy wasn't going to visit him. Unless... Hey, this looks just like a tooth. Caillou was hoping the Tooth Fairy would mistake the pebble for a tooth and leave him a present. Good night, Caillou. Did you brush your teeth? The Tooth Fairy's gonna come tonight. Hmm? I don't think you can fool the Tooth Fairy. But why don't we leave it here and maybe she'll come and visit you while you're sleeping? But she probably won't leave you a present. Is that okay? Okay! I want to grow up! Mommy? Caillou, cookies aren't for breakfast. Okay. Caillou wished he was tall enough to get his own cookies, but he just couldn't reach the cookie jar. Come on. It's time to get ready for the park. It's Andre. Caillou hadn't seen his friend Andre in a long time. Hi, Caillou. Come play with me. 
<laughs> Caillou wanted to do all the things Andre was doing. Wow. Uh, whoa! <laughs> it's new. My other bike got too small. Want to try it? Well, okay. You're too small, Caillou. Caillou wished he was big enough to ride Andre's bike. Hi, Caillou. Did you have a good time at the park? I want to be like Andre. How come? He's bigger than me. He can ride a big bike. Caillou, Andre is a little bit older than you. Besides, you've been growing too, you know. I have? Let's take a look. See? You're a whole inch taller than the last time. An inch? How big is an inch? That's quite a lot to grow, Caillou. Caillou is happy that he was bigger than before. Rosie now! We'll measure you too, Rosie. Oh, you've grown too. See, you used to be that big. Now you're up here. And that's Caillou. Big. Caillou was proud to be Rosie's big brother. If you keep growing this fast, Caillou, you'll be as big as Andre in no time. Caillou couldn't wait to be as big as Andre. How can I grow big faster? The only way to grow big and strong is to eat well and get lots of sleep. That night, Caillou ate a lot more than usual. More, Caillou? I thought you didn't like meatloaf. I want to eat lots so I can grow bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Time for dessert, Caillou. Now you can have that cookie you wanted for breakfast. I'm too full. <laughs> Come on, Caillou. You can work off all that food by helping me with the dishes. Hmm. Looks like a problem with the pipes again. I'll look at it in the morning. Caillou thought if he went to bed extra early, he might grow faster. You're getting ready for bed already? It's not even your bedtime yet. I want to get lots of sleep. Look, Caillou. I found an old picture of you. See how small you were then? <laughs> I was little. That's right, Caillou. Now you're a big boy. That night, Caillou dreamed he was big and strong. He could reach the high bar on the jungle gym. And he could ride Andre's bike. Caillou woke up. He was very happy. He was feeling much bigger. What are you doing? I want to see. See what? Daddy, Daddy, am I any bigger? <coughs> I'm afraid you're pretty much the same size as yesterday, Caillou. Caillou was disappointed. He felt like he'd never be as tall as Andre. No one grows overnight. You've got years to get bigger. What are you doing? Fixing the sink. Let's see if it works. Ah! Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> well, looks like it's time to call the plumber. We probably just need to replace that leaky joint. Can I see, Daddy? Sorry, Caillou, but this is grown-up work. Caillou decided to do some work of his own on the bathroom sink. Come on, Teddy. Help me fix that leaky joint. We may need your help after all, Caillou, if you aren't too busy. Okay. 
See, we need to turn off the water for the plumber, but we're too big to fit in there. When the plumber gives the signal, you'll turn it off, okay? Okay. No! No! It's dark in here, Daddy. I'm right here, Caillou. Thanks, Caillou. I could use a little helper like you more often. Caillou was very proud that he helped the plumber fix the sink. <laughs> Aha! I see you, Andre. You win again, Caillou. Your dad never finds you. I'm small enough to fit anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Caillou's Big Chill. It was one of the very first days of spring. The snow was melting, the flowers were growing, and Caillou and his family were outside enjoying it. See? There's a flower poking its nose up to catch a few rays of the sun. Now that all the snow is gone, the flowers can grow. The snow will be gone for a long, long time. Caillou felt a bit sad that all the snow was gone. He loved playing in the snow and he was going to miss it. Gilbert? Hi, Caillou. Look what I found. That's the last of the snow. It will all be melted soon. I wish I could keep it. Well, if you want to keep it frozen, you should put it in the freezer. Caillou thought that was a great idea. No room! I know where! Caillou thought of a perfect place to keep his snow. Sarah brought a pail after pail of snow until the tub was filled with Caillou's very own snow. What do you want to make with it? A snowman! My hands are cold. <sighs> Mine too. We need mittens. <laughs> there! Now it just needs some eyes and a nose. Hi, kids. Sarah, your mom was just calling you in for lunch. Okay. Bye, Caillou. Have fun with the snow. Snow? <sighs> Can I have a carrot, Mommy? Go ahead, honey. Lunch will be a little while. Caillou thought his snowman looked absolutely perfect. After Caillou had lunch, he helped Daddy wash the car. And he helped Mommy with supper. Before he knew it, it was time to get ready for bed. Hey! Where did my snowman go? A snowman? In the bathtub? I wanted to keep it until winter. But it's time for the snow to make room for the grass and flowers. Spring is a lot of fun, too. We can ride bikes and climb trees. I like riding my bike. Caillou would miss the snow, but when he thought about it, there were a lot of things he liked about spring, too. Bye, Mr. Snowman. See you next year. Leo's Hamster. to have a hamster. Yeah, he's a lot of fun to play with. Caillou was very excited. He was going to take care of Leo's hamster for the weekend while Leo was away. That's his food and water. You have to change it every day. 
Hiya, buddies. Caillou was a bit nervous. He wasn't very familiar with hamsters, and it was a big responsibility. See? You can hold him like this. Does he bite? No, but you have to be very gentle. Buddy can do tricks too, see? Can I try? Sure. Don't move. in his cheeks. <laughs> you can pet him on his tummy like this. Want to play, buddy? <laughs> Come on, boys. Time for Caillou to bring Buddy home. Leo, be careful with your hamster. He's your pet. He's not a toy. Okay. Caillou is looking forward to bringing Buddy home and taking care of him. Here's a list for your dad, Caillou. Here we go. We have to make sure that Gilbert stays far away from Buddy. We want the room to be safe for him. Let's see what we have here. Said I have to check his food and water. Everything looks fine. Can I play with him now? Buddy's sleeping right now, Caillou. You should let him rest for a bit. I'm sure he'll wake up soon, okay? Okay. Caillou watched Buddy very closely. He wanted him to wake up so they could play. Buddy, are you awake? <sighs> Are you still sleeping? Caillou thought Buddy had slept enough, and he really wanted to play with him. Come here, boy. Do you want to play? Caillou wasn't sure what Buddy was doing. He was crawling all over him, and it was making Caillou nervous. Did you take him out of his cage? Yes. We better get to Buddy before Gilbert does. Come on. He ran behind here. I can't see him. We better lock Gilbert up in his cage until we find him. You look for Buddy, okay? I'll be right back. looked and looked everywhere, but there was no sign of Buddy. Any luck? I can't find him. He's got to be here somewhere. <laughs> hmm, not here either. Don't worry, Caillou. He can't be far. We'll find him. Buddy. Mommy, why are you standing on the chair? Me? <laughs> oh, no reason. Where is he, honey? It went under the fridge. Here, buddy. Come out. Keep an eye on him, Caillou. I'll go get his cage. Buddy, come. Caillou wished the buddy would come out. 
He wondered what he could do to coax him out from under the fridge. Maybe he'll come if I give him a carrot. Smart thinking, Caillou. He loves carrots. Watch this, Mommy. Here, buddy. Come and get the yummy carrot. How's it going, Caillou? I think he's coming out. He's out. Okay, let's put him back in the cage now. I'll put him back. Good job, Caillou. Oh, but how did Buddy get out? I only wanted to play with him. Playing with him is fine, but you have to make sure that he goes right back into the cage next time, okay? That's right, sweetie. You're responsible for him, and it's your job to keep him safe. Caillou, what do you say we let Buddy really get some rest now? Okay, Daddy. Okay, Gilbert, you can come out now, but you have to stay quiet because Buddy is resting. Hello, come on in. Hi, Caillou. Hi, Gilbert. Hi, Leo. Buddy ran under the fridge, but I saved him. How did you get him out? With your carrot trick. Three's a crowd. Caillou, we're leaving now. Where are you? Roar, roar! I'm playing dinosaurs. You and Rosie have been inside all day. Let's go out and get some fresh air. Can I bring my dinosaur? Why don't you bring your bucket and shovel instead? Then you can play in the sandbox. Okay. Caillou was happy to see that Leo and Clementine were at the park, too. Hi. Can I help build the sandcastle? Watch it, Caillou. Look what you did. Ah! You broke my bucket. We don't want to play with you. You break everything. Caillou didn't mean to break Clementine's bucket. He felt very badly. Mommy! <laughs> What's the matter, Caillou? Leo and Clementine don't want to play with me. Did you tell them you wanted to play with them? Caillou didn't tell his mommy that he had broken Clementine's bucket. He was sad and angry all at the same time. I don't want to play with them anymore. I don't like them. I want to go home. But we just got here, Caillou. Rosie's awake. Why don't you play for a little while longer, okay? Leo! Clementine! Come play on the slide with me. Leo and Clementine were so busy playing, they didn't even notice Caillou. Caillou didn't find it was as much fun sliding alone. He really wanted his friends to play with him. <laughs> Mommy, can you push me in the swing too? Aren't you a little big for the baby swings, Caillou? Can you push me on the big swings, Mommy? Caillou, I can't push you on the big swings right now. I'm pushing Rosie. Uh, uh. It was no use. Caillou tried and tried. But normally, Mummy or his friends would push him to get started. But there was one thing that Caillou could do by himself. Climb the monkey bars. Mummy! Wow! Oh! Why don't you go and play with Leo and Clementine, Caillou? <laughs> to play with them anymore because I broke Clementine's bucket. Well, why don't you lend her your bucket? Here, Clementine. You can have my bucket. Thanks. It's a nice bucket. A lot bigger than mine. Can I play with you? Sure. Sit over there. You can help me. Caillou knew that Leo and Clementine were once again his best friends in the whole wide world. <laughs> Get well soon.
One of Caillou's favorite things to do was play spaceman with his best friend, Leo. decided that Gilbert could help him find the spaceman. Leo didn't hear anything and checked to see if the coast was clear. that he had won, he didn't notice that Leo was hurt. I want my mommy. What's wrong, Leo? My foot hurts. Caillou didn't know what to do. He felt scared. Mommy, Daddy, help! Leo hurt himself! Where does it hurt? Leo's foot hurt him so much that he couldn't even stand on it. You'd better take Leo home. His parents may want to have his foot checked at the hospital. Good idea. The hospital? Kaya was worried that his friend might have to go to the hospital. Don't worry, Leo. Everything will be all right. I want my mommy. <laughs> Okay, Mommy? We'll find out soon, Caillou. But first, he needs to have his foot checked at the hospital. Caillou had never been to the hospital. He was very curious about what would happen there. What will happen at the hospital? Well, the doctor will look at Leo's foot and find out what's wrong with it. He might take a special picture called an X-ray to look at Leo's bones. I have to call Leo's parents now. Will you please watch Rosie for me? Okay. Mommy? Yes, Caillou? Will Leo be okay? I'm sure he'll be okay, but he probably won't be running around much for a little while. Caillou hoped Leo would get better fast so they would be able to play Spaceman again soon. See you soon. Bye. Was that Daddy? Yes, it was. And he says Leo is already home from the hospital and is doing fine. Do you think he could come over and play now? I don't think so, Caillou. Leo has a broken toe, so he'll have to stay off his feet for a while. He will? What's the matter, Caillou? Caillou was disappointed that he wasn't going to be able to play with Leo. Leo to come over. I want to hear about the hospital and play spaceman. Well, Leo can't come over here, but you can go and visit him. I can? Sure. In fact, he asked Daddy if you could come over and see him later. I bet that would really cheer him up. Caillou couldn't wait to see Leo and had a great idea to cheer him up. going to draw Leo the best picture ever. Caillou wanted to draw something for Leo. But what? A spaceman. Leo loves spacemen. There. Can I see it? 
That's beautiful, Caillou. Maybe you can also put the finishing touches on the cookies I'm making for Leo. Okay. <laughs> that one's for Leo. Leo can't wait to see you. Me too! I made him a drawing. Can we go now? <laughs> sure we can. Hi, Leo. Caillou! Caillou was happy to see that Leo was okay. A spaceman! Wow! Thanks! Here! Wow! Does your foot hurt? It did at first, but it's okay as long as I don't walk on it. I forgot to tie my shoelaces, and I tripped on them and fell. You went to the hospital? Yeah, and the doctor took a funny picture of my toes. <laughs> you want to play space alien? How? Caillou and Leo were back to doing what they love best, playing together. Shadow play. Caillou had his new neighbors, Jeffrey and Jason, over for some hot dogs. At first, the twins seemed more interested in each other. <gasps> Mommy! What's the matter, Caillou? Did you spill some mustard? It was... Caillou didn't know whether it was Jeffrey or Jason who had squirted him. I think Jeffrey knows what happened. That's why he's going to help clean up. Right, Jeffrey? That's enough helping for now, Jeffrey. <laughs> Can we play a game with this flashlight, Mommy? Hi and seek. Good idea, Jeffrey. You kids could go play in the backyard, but not for long. It's going to be dark soon. <laughs> Caillou decided he would be it because he had the flashlight. One, two, three, four, five. Caillou was excited about playing with his new friends, but when he saw how the shadows had begun creeping into the yard, he felt a bit scared until he remembered his flashlight. Come out, come out, wherever you are! <laughs> hey, you two. You're hiding in a place that Caillou will never come looking. While Jeffrey's mommy Shh. explained that playing fair meant the twins had to go back outside, Caillou heard something behind a bush. Huh? Now Caillou started to get really spooked. He faced his backyard again, and with even thicker shadows, it looked like a completely new place to him. Uh, I don't want to play anymore. Ah! Oh, I'm sorry, Caillou. I startled you. Mom, is Caillou a scaredy cat? Of course not. In fact, he was pretty brave out here all by himself. It's scary out here. When Mommy turned on the backyard light, all the spooky shadows disappeared. They could even keep on playing a little while. But this time, Mommy would be it. No one will find me here. <gasps> Can I hide with you? Okay. Are you Jason? No, I am. Quick, come in. <laughs> We'll get caught. <laughs> I'm a scary monster. <laughs> Gilbert, shh, we're hiding. 
want to be found just yet. Thanks to the game, he and the twins were becoming fast friends. A new member of the family. No, Gilbert, go away. Look, Rosie, this is you. Baby! Oh, look, and here's one when Gilbert was a kitten. Come and see, Caillou. Caillou loved looking at pictures with Mommy. He remembered when Gilbert was just a little kitten and Daddy had brought him home for the very first time. What is it, Daddy? Go ahead. Look. It's a surprise. It's a kitten! It's a kitten! I got him at the animal shelter. They said his name is Gilbert. I think it suits him perfectly, don't you? Uh, a choo! He ran away! It's okay, Caillou. I think you just frightened him a little. He's still a baby and he needs time to get used to us. Why don't we let him look around a bit while we get some lunch? Okay, Mommy. Is Gilbert scared of me? Oh, I don't think so, Caillou. You two will have plenty of time to get used to each other. Don't worry. I thought this might make a good bed. He can sleep here in the kitchen. Why? If Gilbert is going to be part of our family, he needs his own bed. I'll just grab an old blanket from the basement. Ooh, I think somebody needs their diaper checked. I'll be back in a second, Caillou. You finish your lunch, okay? Okay. Gilbert! Caillou remembered to move slowly so that Gilbert wouldn't be afraid of him. Caillou was happy that Gilbert didn't run away this time. He wanted to hold him and pet him so that Gilbert would know that he was his friend. Gilbert, come back! Are you hungry? We can't allow Gilbert on the table, Caillou. We'll get him his very own little bowl and put it on the floor, okay? <laughs> you better take them both upstairs and clean them up. Can we give Gilbert a bath? Well, cats don't normally like taking baths, but Gilbert certainly needs one now. I want to help. Just as soon as we take Gilbert's flea collar off, we don't want to get it wet. Here, Caillou, why don't you hold Gilbert while I fill up the tub? Caillou was a little nervous to hold Gilbert again. He didn't like it when Gilbert squirmed in his arms. Here, let's wrap him in this towel. It'll be easier for you to hold him. You see, it's just like holding a baby. Hold on tight, but don't squeeze him too hard. Caillou loved his new kitten very much. Okay, come on, Gilbert. Time to get you cleaned up. Oh! Ah! Daddy! He ran away! Gilbert had escaped again. Caillou didn't understand why he was always running away from him. He's not here, Daddy. Not here either. There he is! Why don't we go real slow, okay, Caillou? We don't want to scare him. Okay, Daddy. Do you see him? No! He's not in his bed! Caillou, come here. I have an idea. Taking off my shoes, Daddy? Not your shoes, just the laces. Here, now wave it back and forth on the floor, and I bet you it'll get his attention. Caillou didn't understand why he was doing this until. <laughs> Hi, 
I've never met a kitten that could resist a shoelace. He's all clean. He sure is. What's that noise, Daddy? He's purring. That means he's happy. Caillou was glad that he could make Gilbert happy by petting him. He liked it when Gilbert purred. Now all we have to do is put back on his flea collar. Achoo! Hmm, you've been sneezing an awful lot since Gilbert got here. I hope you're not allergic to him. What's allergic? When people are allergic to animals, they can't be around them because they make them sneeze too much and get itchy, watery eyes. This worried Caillou very much. He didn't want to be allergic to Gilbert. Come on, Caillou, let's go see what Mommy thinks. If Caillou was allergic to cats, Mommy and Daddy would have to take Gilbert back to the animal shelter. Mm, no sign of hives. And your eyes aren't watery. Do they itch, Caillou? No, Mommy. Here, Caillou, try holding him for a while. Achoo! I don't want Gilbert to leave. I have an idea. Let's try it without the flea collar on. Caillou was really hoping he wouldn't sneeze. He didn't want to be allergic to his new cat. Well, that's a good sign. Caillou, let Mummy hold Gilbert for a second, and you hold on to this. Achoo! That's it. Since it was the flea collar that was making Caillou sneeze and not Gilbert, it meant that little kitten could stay. Gilbert has grown up so fast. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how Gilbert became a new member of the family. Surprise party! Mommy, Daddy and Grandpa were out shopping, so Caillou and Rosie were spending a lovely afternoon with Grandma. Come color with me, Grandma. In a minute, Caillou, just as soon as I finish ironing. Why are you ironing? To make this shirt nice and smooth. I gave it to Grandpa for his birthday last week. I didn't go to his birthday party. Grandpa didn't have a party, Caillou. Caillou couldn't imagine having a birthday without a birthday party. Why not? Grandpa had a bad cold, and he wasn't up to celebrating that day. I want to give him a party today. I think that's a wonderful idea. He'll be very surprised. I want hats and games, pin the tail on the donkey, and a birthday cake. Well, then, we're going to need some supplies. I want to use lots of colors. I think I've got some more crayons in here somewhere. I guess it needs a few adjustments. Grandma, I want to hang the donkey somewhere. I knew you'd find the perfect spot, Caillou. Caillou thought the decorations looked nice. But there was still something missing. We need balloons, Grandma. I think I've got some left from your birthday party. <gasps> Caillou, maybe you have to be a little older to blow up balloons. Caillou was disappointed that he wasn't able to blow up the balloon yet. But then he remembered something fun that he could do. Look what I can do, Grandma. Wow, that's a neat trick, Caillou. Can you do another? <gasps> that's okay. You just have to remember to rub a little more gently, like before. There. Is this enough for all of Grandpa's birthdays? <laughs> Oh, I don't think we have enough candles for that. How about we just put one candle in the cake for each guest at the party? Caillou could hardly wait for Grandpa to get home, 
so he and Rosie could yell, surprise, like Grandma had shown them. Isn't this wonderful? Thank you so much. Why didn't you let me in on the secret? It was all Caillou's idea. Caillou's bad dream. Late one night after everyone had gone to bed, Caillou was having a bad dream. What's wrong, Caillou? I had a bad dream. There, there. <laughs> what did you dream? A scary monster was chasing me. Bad dreams can feel pretty scary sometimes. But it's okay. It's over now, right? Do you feel better now? Yes, Daddy. Good. Let's tuck you back in. Good night, Caillou. Good night, Daddy. <gasps> Caillou saw a shape on the wall that looked like a monster. He thought if he hid under his blanket, the monster wouldn't see him. Caillou felt scared being all alone in his room. So he decided to go join Mommy and Daddy in their bed. Daddy, wake up! What, what is it, Caillou? What's wrong? I don't want to sleep in my room. I want to stay here. I know, but you should stay in your own bed like a big boy. But I don't want to. We all need our rest, Caillou. You'll be tired and grumpy tomorrow if you don't get some sleep. Mommy, I want a glass of water. Okay, I'll be right back. Caillou wanted his mommy to stay and read him a story, so he went over to his shelf to pick out a book. Here's your water. Can you read me a bedtime story, Mommy? <sighs> I'm sorry, Caillou, but it's much too late for stories. Just one, please? It's very late. It's time to go to sleep. But I'm not sleepy. <sighs> yes, you are. <sighs> and so am I. See, all of your animals are sleepy, too. What is it, Caillou? Gilbert spilled my water. That's okay. See? All gone. Caillou was really trying to fall asleep, but he just couldn't. No matter which way he turned, he didn't feel comfortable. He felt restless. Caillou was sure he would feel better sleeping in Mommy and Daddy's bed. Ooh. Huh? Caillou, what are you doing here? I want to sleep here. I don't like my bed. But this bed can't fit all three of us. And your bed is the perfect size for you. And what about Teddy and Gilbert sleeping all alone in your room? They'll be very lonely without you. They can sleep here too. Nope, no room. Come on, Caillou, back to bed. Wait, I have to go to the bathroom. 
было. Gilbert и Teddy sure are glad to have you back. Now you can all get some sleep. I don't want to sleep, Daddy. Let's play a game. Look outside, Caillou. What do you see? It's dark. I can't see anything. That's right. Everybody's lights are out because they're all fast asleep in their beds. Even the sun has gone to sleep. You know, when I was a little boy, sometimes I used to have bad dreams too. Really? Yep. And I had a trick that Grandma taught me that could help you too. When I was in bed with my eyes closed, just before falling asleep, I used to think of good things. Some of my favorite things in the world. Like what? Like rainbows and jumping in big piles of leaves. Things like that. What are some of your favorite things? Chocolate cookies? My trucks? <laughs> Those sound perfect. Good night, Caillou. And remember, think of good things, okay? Caillou started to think about all his favorite things, especially his fire truck. The problem was, he was thinking about them so much that he couldn't fall asleep. Caillou decided to get up and play. worried his parents might wake up, so he tried to stop the noise. What's all that noise? Caillou, why are you playing? It's the middle of the night. <laughs> Caillou was really very tired now, but he still didn't want to sleep in his bed. Sweetie, you just need some sleep. Now lie down and close your eyes and you'll drift off. What if I have another bad dream? Let me see your pillow. How come? There. I flipped your pillow over to the good dream side. Now you're sure to have good dreams. Gilbert's asleep, and Teddy's asleep, and Dinosaur's asleep, and Caillou's asleep. Good night, Caillou. Sweet dreams. Caillou computes. what Daddy was bringing home in the big box. He wondered if maybe there was something special inside the box for him. What is it, Daddy? It's a surprise. Hey, don't I get a hello hug? Is it a toy? Not really. Maybe it's a giant dinosaur egg. <laughs> no, it's not, Daddy. Daddy's being silly. Let's put it in the playroom and go see what's in the box. Caillou was very curious to see what was in the big box. What is it? It's a computer. What the? Caillou was disappointed. He hoped that Daddy had brought a surprise just for him. I'll show you how it works, Caillou, once I get it hooked up. I bought a drawing program just for you. <laughs> you <know> what? <laughs> <laughs> it's a cat in the box. Caillou, look! There was a dinosaur in the box after all. See? You can draw on the computer and then print out your drawing. Do I need my crayons? No. Look, you draw by moving this. It's called a mouse. A mouse! Look, Gilbert! Squeak, squeak, squeak! Caillou liked drawing on the computer, but it was tricky at first using a mouse to draw. <laughs> <laughs> Gilbert wants the mouse. Squeak, squeak. Why don't I print this up for you and you could color in the rest, okay? We could play again a little later. Caillou was disappointed. He wanted to keep playing with the computer, but he also thought that crayons were a lot easier to draw with. No, Gilbert, get down. Honey, where are Rosie's diapers? Caillou wanted to print up another dinosaur so that he could color it in again. He had seen Mommy press a button, and he thought he would try. Uh-oh. Caillou, what happened? I wanted another dinosaur drawing, 
I broke the computer, Mommy. You didn't break it, sweetie. Look. But from now on, you have to wait for Mommy or Daddy before you can use the computer, okay? Caillou was relieved that he hadn't broken the computer. And he soon discovered <laughs> that playing in the computer box was actually just Look as out, fun Mommy. as playing We're with the computer. <laughs> that wasn't a very smooth landing, was it? Come on, you two. Dinner's ready. Good night, Mommy. Can I play on the computer tomorrow with you? Of course you can, Caillou. <laughs> Gilbert's afraid of the mouse, Mommy. <laughs> That's because he's a scaredy cat. Caillou's big discovery. Caillou and Leo were playing in the backyard. They were pretending they were dinosaurs. I'm as big as a mountain. Me too. Leo, look! A dinosaur jungle. Roar! Caillou, stay away from my flowers, please. Caillou knew that he wasn't supposed to walk through the garden. But when he played with Leo, he sometimes got carried away. Let's find a dinosaur mountain to climb. We can pile up rocks. Yeah. And then we can climb it. Rock! Here's a rock. Dinosaurs need a whole bunch of rocks. We can pile them up in the sandbox. Caillou and Leo were disappointed. They wanted a bigger pile of rocks to climb. We need bigger rocks. That's a really big rock. <laughs> Me, Leo. Boys, you're too close to my tomato plants. You might damage them. Daddy, help! We need this for our dinosaur mountain. A dinosaur mountain, huh? That's a pretty big rock, Caillou. It's stuck! Well, since it's sticking out and someone can trip over it, we may as well move it. Okay, Leo, you grab there. And Caillou, you push here and I'll pull. Ready? Uh, it's out! Yay! We did it! Hey, it looks like we've just dug up something special. A special rock? Yep. Look, that's a fish fossil. What's a fossil? Well, a long, long time ago, a fish got stuck in the mud. And after a long time, the mud turned into rock. How did the fish get stuck in the mud? Maybe a bunch of mud fell on it. This was a real fish? Good work, boys. Finding a fossil is very rare. Can I bring this home with me? No, it's my rock. But I found it. No, I found it. Caillou and Leo were arguing because they both wanted the special rock. But there was only one way they could both have it. You boys are going to have to take turns playing with the rock, okay? Okay. Let's bring it to the sandbox. We've got lots of rocks now. I'm going to climb the dinosaur mountain. I'm going to climb first. <gasps> what was that? It's a big dinosaur coming to climb our mountain. It's raining. We can play in the rain. I bet dinosaurs like rain. Let's bring the rocks inside. There. Now we can 
can play dinosaurs. But we don't have our special rock. It's too big to carry. Boys, what are you doing bringing rocks inside? You've made a mess. Caillou and Leo realized they had done something wrong. But all they wanted to do was to continue playing dinosaurs. But it's raining and we can't play outside. Well, you can't bring the rocks inside the house. Did Caillou and Leo tell you about the special rock they found? No, but it looks like they found a few special rocks and they brought them all inside. We found a fossil rock, but it's too big to carry. I've got an idea. Why don't we leave the rocks outside so the rain will clean them off? And I can take you and Leo to the library to find some books on fossils, okay? Caillou and Leo were excited about going to the library. They had never gone to the library together before. I'm going to find a book on fossils. I'm going to find a book about dinosaurs. Why don't you both find a book on dinosaur fossils? Dinosaur fossils? I'll find it first. Caillou and Leo looked and looked, but they couldn't find the book they were searching for. Are you boys looking for any special kind of books? Dinosaur fossils. We have lots of books about dinosaurs. Let me show you where they are. Caillou and Leo were very happy looking at books about dinosaurs. This dinosaur is as big as a tree. This one looks scary. Roar! <laughs> Leo, look! A dinosaur fossil. Pretty neat, huh? It's a model of a dinosaur fossil. We found a fossil today. It's a fish that got stuck in the mud. Really? Would you boys like to bring it in sometime? You could put it on display right here next to this model of the dinosaur fossil. Yeah! That's a great idea. Should we bring it in tomorrow? Caillou and Leo were very pleased that their fish fossil was going to be in the library so that lots of other children could see it too. Everyone's gonna see our special rock. We have to make it all shiny and clean. There. Maybe we can find another fossil. A dinosaur fossil. Roar! 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 